A lot of us have been spending a lot of time at home over the past year, and if you've noticed that the scale has been creeping upward, you're not alone. Yes, it has. I kind of know why. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are gaining the pandemic pounds, so we ask why is this happening? Mac Ferris explains to us. And tonight's Weight Loss Wednesday. The pandemic is taking a toll on Americans' waistlines. An American Psychological Association survey finds nearly two-thirds of us had an undesired weight change in the last year. Some lost, but more, as many as 42 percent, gained an average of nearly 30 pounds. Feeling like they just don't care as much, and it's harder to be able to get out there and to do things. Are you seeing that more than normal? Yes, that is coming up more than normal. LSU health psychologist Dr. Michelle Moore says it's from the stress of locking down away from friends and routines, losing jobs, troubled relationships, being sedentary. That isolation for a lot has brought on the additional mental health needs. Um, it's caused people to be more depressed. Mm -hmm. Why is weight gain related to stress and depression and isolation? And several people have talked about um, they found themselves eating more junk food because they're trying to cope. Exercise bathes your brain in long-term feel-good chemicals, but that takes time. Junk foods do the same, but it's instant gratification, even though it's fleeting. Those who gain the most, essential workers, parents coping with children at home, and young adults. We know that weight gain is bad for you physically, but yeah. emotionally it makes you even more depressed and more not want to go out and be with your friends. Are you concerned about that? Absolutely. It's a major problem because it's contributing to further isolation. The survey finds drinking alcohol is up. That's extra sugar calories. Just one five ounce glass of wine a day can add nearly 15 pounds to the scale in a year. Dr. Moore says the stress can linger long after the pandemic is over. So to make positive changes, think back to your strength after Hurricane Katrina. Knowing what that felt like, how did you overcome that? How did you bounce back? Where did you find resilience to persevere? And find a trusted someone to take action with together. For Weight Loss Wednesday, I'm Meg Farris. I ate a lot of Pop-Tarts at the beginning of this thing, and I don't even know why. Well, the survey also finds that about half of Americans feel uneasy about adjusting to in-person interaction once the pandemic ends. And that was in both people who are vaccinated and people who are not.